वेक्टर की श्रेणी को आगे बढ़ाते हैं हम लोग वैक्टर के सीक्वेंस को आगे बढ़ाते हैं वेक्टर के सीक्वेंस में मिसलेनी इसका थर्ड टेंथ क्वेश्चन ये आप देखिए इसमें हमारे पास दो एडिशन साइट्स ऑफ पैरलोग्राम जो है टू आई माइनस फोर जे प्लस फाइव के एंड आई माइनस टू जे माइनस थ्री के और हमें फाइंड आउट करना है एक यूनिट वेक्टर जो कि डायगनल के पैरल है डायगनल ऑफ द पैरलोग्राम एंड एंड ऑफ द पैरलोग्राम तो सबसे पहले हमें ये समझना पड़ेगा कि वॉट इज द डायगनल ऑफ द पैरलोग्राम डायगनल ऑफ पैरोग्राम हम कैसे इवेलुएट करें तो सबसे पहले डायगनल होगा क्या सो बाय ट्रायंगल लॉ ऑफ एडिशन और और पैरोग्राम लॉ ऑफ एडिशन बोथ यू कैन अप्लाई आप देख सकते हैं कि दो एडिशन साइड्स अगर ये बी है तो डायगनल इज वेक्टर ए प्लस वेक्टर बी सो सबसे पहले हम डायगनल को इवेलुएट करेंगे What is uh, diagonal? Diagonal is vector a plus vector b. So it is two uh, i cap minus four j cap plus five k cap plus i cap minus two j cap minus three k cap. So you are getting three i cap minus six j cap plus two k cap. This is a vector along the diagonal, or this is the diagonal vector. Now, to suppose this thing is a c vector, we assume this vector as c vector. So this is your c vector. Now, c cap unit vector along the diagonal is given by c vector divided by magnitude of c vector. So c vector is three i cap. Minus six j cap plus two k cap divided by under root three square plus minus six square plus two square. So you obtained a unit vector along the diagonal of the vector. Um, Parallelogram constructed with A and B as its adjacencies. Now to find the area of the parallelogram, to evaluate the area of the parallelogram, you have to evaluate vector A cross vector B. And then it uh, this was the unit vector along diagonal. Now we are evaluating. Evaluating the area of the parallelogram. So area of parallelogram is given by magnitude of vector A cross vector B, and uh, we evaluate that magnitude of this i cap j cap k cap. We are using the determinant to evaluate the vector A cross vector B. So it is two minus four. And plus five, one minus two and minus three. So it is i cap twelve plus ten minus j cap minus six minus five plus k cap. So it is minus four plus four. So it gets cancelled and becomes zero. Now we left out with twenty-two i cap plus eleven j cap. Now its magnitude. So this thing equals to in the root twenty-two square that is four into four. Plus eleven square that is one twenty one. The required area is square root of this quantity five six zero five square units. This is how we evaluate area of a parallelogram whose adjacent sides are given to us. Our question के beginning में हम लोग ये देखते हैं 
what is given to us and what we need to prove. Question number 11, हम लोग लेते हैं मिस्टर गेस का. Question number 11 में हमारे पास क्या दिया हुआ है और क्या प्रूफ करना है? हमारे पास गिवन है, a vector is equally inclined with x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. And what we need to prove that the direction cosines of the given vector are 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3 and 1 by root 3. So how to start this question? इस क्वेश्चन को कैसे करें? तो हम प्रूफ स्टार्ट करते हैं एजुम्पशन से। Let as this vector is equally inclined with x, y and z axis, so we assume let the direction angles of given vector. are alpha, beta and gamma. It is also given to us that it is equally inclined with x axis and y axis and z axis. Therefore, alpha will be equals to beta equals to gamma. Alpha will be equals to beta equals to gamma. This thing is given to us. So, we can conclude therefore, we can conclude cos alpha equals to cos beta equals to cos gamma. When uh, these are equal, we have a relation cos alpha is represented by L, M and this is by N. These are the direction cosines. So they are equal. There is a relation between direction cosines of a given vector. What is the relation? Relation says L square plus M square plus N square equals to 1 always for any given vector. So let us put the values of L, M and N here. So uh, you have L equals to M equals to N. So what do you have? You have L square plus L square plus L square equals to 1. And that gives you 3L square equals to 1 and that gives you L is equals to 1 by root 3. And as we have L equals to M equals to N, which are the direction cosines, therefore we can conclude the L equals to M equals to N equals to 1 by root 3. Therefore direction cosines are 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3 and 1 by root 3. So this was the question number 11. Now let us consider next question. As the Jessa B um Hari question we got there, question number 12 we have the grant, this is given and to find we know down here. So given a mark was team vectors and vector A, B and C, or Hame a third vector, fourth vector to bar make a raki that is perpendicular to A and as well perpendicular to B. Also C dot B equals to 15. Now in conditions we use that we have D vector to evaluate karna. So our aim is to find D vector. तो हम लोग सॉल्यूशन की तरफ बढ़ते हैं। यहाँ पर वेक्टर प्रोडक्ट की प्रॉपर्टी हम यूज़ नहीं लाते हैं। हमें पता है कि दो वेक्टर्स का जब क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट हम करते हैं, तो हमेशा उन दोनों ही वेक्टर्स के परपेंडिकुलर होता है। तो यहाँ पर D वेक्टर जो है, वो A वेक्टर और B वेक्टर दोनों के cross vector B because B is perpendicular to vector A and vector B therefore we can assume like that so we can write down this reason as D vector is perpendicular to vector A and B vector is perpendicular to vector B so now we have come here so let us evaluate A cross B also and D vector we evaluate A is uh, ये हम लोग डिटरमिनेंट मेथड यूज करेंगे। सो वी आर गोइंग टू गेट लैम्डर टाइम्स आई कैप माइनस जे इनटू वन plus k into minus coefficient यह हमारा d vector यहाँ पर lambda की value हमारे पास unknown है 
तो हमारे पास एक और कंडीशन गिवन है सी डॉट बी इज इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टीन तो हम इस कंडीशन को यूज करते हैं ऑल्सो हमारे पास है वेक्टर सी डॉट वेक्टर डी इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टीन अगर इस कंडीशन को हम यूज करते हैं यहाँ पर सी वेक्टर की वैल्यू हम पुट कर टू वाई कैप माइनस जे कैप प्लस फोर के कैप डॉट डी वेक्टर को हम सब्सिट्यूट कर दें लैमडा एंड और वी कैन टेक द लैमडा इन साइड सो इट इज थर्टी टू लैमडा आई कैप माइनस लैमडा जे कैप माइनस फोर्टीन लैमडा के कैप इक्वल्स टू हमारे पास फिफ्टीन है नाउ After the stock product, we are going to get sixty-four lambda plus lambda plus fifty-six lambda equals to fifty. It is minus actually sixty-four lambda. Plus lambda, and then minus fifty-six lambda equals to fifty. So sixty-five minus fifty-six, that is nine lambda equals to fifty. The value of lambda comes out as five by three. So in the b vector, only lambda is unknown. And we have the value of lambda, so we got the lambda. Therefore, d vector is equals to five by three times thirty-two i cap minus j cap minus fourteen k cap. This is our required vector. Or in other words, if you open the bracket, you can write it down. One sixty by three i cap minus five by three j cap minus seventy by three k cap, and this is the final answer. Similarly, we will move for the next question. Now, the next interesting question of this miscellaneous chapter is question number fourteen. And this question also as well हम लोग सबसे पहले देखेंगे what is given to us so vector A is perpendicular to vector B B is perpendicular to C and C is perpendicular to A that means A B C are three mutually perpendicular vectors next thing is given the magnitude of all three vectors is one now we have to show that this vector A plus B plus C is equally inclined with vector A vector B and vector C so equally inclined means this vector is making same angle with a b and c vectors all three vectors so let us consider this uh, uh, vector a, a plus b plus c as d vector so we are assuming this as d vector now how to find out angle between two vectors so we uh, Take help of uh, dot product or scalar product for this. If we have to find out angle between two vectors, suppose the vector x and vector y, then cos theta can be given by x vector dot y vector divided by magnitude of x vector into magnitude of y vector. So we are going to use this to find out the angle of vector d with vector a. With vector b and with vector c, so let us begin. So uh, we assume angle. The again we uh, so we assume and d makes alpha, beta, and gamma angles. With vector A, vector B, and vector C respectively. 
So we have assumed this. So by using uh, the this formula, we can evaluate cos alpha as uh, vector d dot vector a upon magnitude of vector d into magnitude of vector a. So we have the magnitude of vector a as 1. Let us put the value of vector d. It is vector a plus vector b plus vector c dot vector a divided by magnitude of vector d. So when you uh, do the dot product, the vector a dot vector a becomes modulus of vector a square and a dot b will be 0 and a dot c will be 0 because they are mutually perpendiculars. Vector a, b and c are mutually perpendicular. Now we proceed further. So magnitude of uh, A is also given to you that is 1. So you have cos alpha equals to 1 upon magnitude of vector D. And uh, you have your inclination alpha equals to cos inverse 1 upon magnitude of D. Similarly, I am going to calculate angle of vector D with vector B. So I have to evaluate cos beta. Cos beta will be d vector dot b vector divided by magnitude of d into magnitude of b. So uh, similarly, it uh, gives you modulus of vector b square upon vector d into 1. So uh, it is going to give you further 1 upon magnitude of vector d. So you have beta equals to cos inverse 1 upon magnitude of vector d. Also cos gamma is d vector dot c vector upon magnitude of d vector magnitude of c vector. And that will give you mod of c square divided by magnitude of d that is 1 upon magnitude of d vector. So similarly you will get gamma equals to cos inverse 1 upon magnitude of d vector. So you can see it clearly the values of alpha, beta and gamma are same. So you can conclude that this proves as alpha equals to beta equals to gamma you can take it to first equation, second equation and third equation. So uh, it is from 1, 2 and 3. 1, 2 and 3. Therefore our conclusion is A plus B plus C is equally inclined with vector A, vector B and vector C. So this is the end of uh, the vector. In case you need any help on any doubt, you please write down in the question, uh, in the comment box, your suggestions and uh, your doubts are welcome. Thank you very much.